Okay, now that we've got everything pretty much ready to go, what I want to do is line up the arrow and the your your string with your sights and your rest. Okay, so how I do that, and again, the Bowtech people are gonna freak out because they're gonna they're gonna want you know all the technical different things. This is for the guy who's just doing it at home and wants to get close. You can fine tune it with paper and all that other kind of stuff later on. But this is gonna be a simple way to get it done pretty darn close. What I like to do is I hold this bow as straight as I possibly can in front of me. And with one eye, I look down the string so I cannot see the edge of the cam, okay? If I see the edge of the cam, I know that the bow is canted. So I line up the string with the groove that it's in over the cam and look straight down it with one eye. And in doing so, in lining it up with the bottom of the cam and the rest of the bow, I can actually see where that line should be. And right now, I can see that this arrow is actually kicked to the right of center. As I look down the string and line it up with the cam, this arrow is actually drifting slightly right of the string. So first thing I want to do is line up this string, or line up this arrow with the string by moving the sight, or I'm sorry, by moving the rest a little bit to the left. And I'll show you how to do that. Now I just loosened up this screw in the back of the, of the QD rest, the ultra rest here. It allows me to slide this back and forth okay as you can see it goes moves it back and forth all I want to do now is line this up as I look at it I want to line it up so that arrow disappears behind the back of the string so I just line line it up again with the with the uh, the line in the cam and just kind of push this one way or the other to line it up. And I'm going to do that and then tighten it up and we'll see what happens after that. Okay. Now, all we have to do, as I said before, we need to adjust this. These sights need to come over a little bit left to be lined up with the string and the arrow going down through the rest. So this sight has to be moved over just slightly to the left. I don't want to use the micro adjust because I'm going to be using that micro adjust while we're shooting and fine tuning it. Okay, so I'm gonna move the entire sight and just slide it slightly to the left, loosen it up, and I'm gonna look down the sight or look down the string and line it up directly with the arrow and make and make these disappear, make these uh, pins disappear behind the string. I'll tell you what, you know, this, this bow press by Apple Archery, it's very inexpensive. And, you know, if you get a couple guys to go in on it, if you've got a long trek, I mean, we've got at least a 45 minute trek to get anywhere that's, that's uh, an archery shop. And you get a couple guys that can Put a couple dollars together and just in gas alone you can pay for this in no time so uh check out apple archery presses this is a fantastic press really easy to use and it's able to do the new parallel limb design bows so uh and i'll tell you what mid-season if something happens and uh you're in a hurry you're going out the next day you can take care of it immediately it's worth its weight in gold check them out all right, what we're going to do now is we're going to put in a peep sight. Now, for a peep sight, you do need to use a press. And this Apple Archery press is what we're going to use. All you need to do is crank it down enough to just fatigue the, uh, the string. So, just a little bit. Now you can see we got plenty of play in the string. What we're going to do, what's nice about these strings is that they're actually two colors. And that's split 50-50. You want to split that in half. And we're going to put it... Uh, put the peep sight inside. So right now I'm going to separate the two colors to split it in half and slip this inside.
All right, once you get that in, you wanna make sure before you release pressure on the press, you wanna make sure all your cables and strings are back on the cams and they haven't come off. So I'm checking these all out. Everything seems to be in place. I'm putting the pressure on to keep them in place. And I'm gonna relieve the pressure slowly so I can stop it if anything starts happening that's not right. So everything's in place. Release it slowly. And we're good to go. Okay, now, before we do serve this in and make this somewhat permanent, I gotta have draw, Brian draw this back to make sure that this is aligned with his eyesight. So, in order to do that, what I like to do is have them draw it back to their comfortable position of draw with their eyes closed. Get into their anchor position, draw back to full draw at eyes closed, and then open your eyes. By doing that, you're not gonna adjust yourself to look through the peep, you're gonna adjust yourself to be comfortable. It's gonna be the best way to do it. So I'm gonna have Brian grab his, grab his bow, draw back with eyes closed, get all set, anchored, put your nose on the string, however you do it, and then open your eye. That way, you're gonna find out where the true level of that peep needs to be. All right. All right, you ready, Brian? Now, like I said, just draw it back, close your eyes, draw that thing back, get into position. Once you're in your position, open your eyes. Okay. That way it's gonna give you, that's the way it's gonna give you the most accurate position. Close your eyes, open them. Yeah, peep's gotta come up. It's gotta come up, all right, draw down. Now, I could have adjusted this while he was at full draw, but you don't want to do that. I mean, especially when he's using a release. Any little tweak to that release while he's at full draw and that thing could go. So, eyes closed. Draw back. Get comfortable. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Here we go. That's all it takes. All right, now... This is serving material. I can, I can actually serve this in with this serving tool and get it in the real way, but for somebody who may not have this or may not feel comfortable doing an actual serving, I'm gonna show you a real easy way to get a decent serving on there so this peep sight won't come out. It's kind of a cheater way to do it. And again, like I said, this is just basics. This is so somebody can do it on their own real simply. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a decent length of serving material and cut it. Now, again, rather than wrapping it like actual serving and pulling the tag end under itself and all that, all we're gonna do is a series of half hitches. It just makes it really, really simple. We're gonna start one below and one above. Now, we don't wanna go up on here and try and tighten it. We're gonna go down below where it's its actual size so we can make it as tight as can be and then we'll slide it up on. So here's your half hitch and just Tighten it down. Now we're going to come down. After that half hitch, tighten it. Keep it tight. Do one on the bottom. Come up. Do the same thing up top. Come down. And you just keep doing this quite a few times. All right, we'll do one more here. And when you come up to finish it, you wanna do a double to just finish it off. Okay, now that's gonna be pretty tight. And what you're gonna do is cut this not super close. Okay, there's a little bit of a tag in there. This is where you wanna be careful. You're going to take a set of matches and you're going to burn these tag ends. Be careful not to have it hit your string. Okay? And that is going to be all set. All right, now, as you see, you can just grab this and it's going to tighten as you slide it up. 
So that's why you didn't need it. So, you know, you didn't need to tighten it up onto this portion here. You'll slide it up on. Now all we're going to do is duplicate this on the top side, and your peep is going to be in and secure and won't come flying out when you start shooting it. Now we're going to shoot it. We've uh, Brian's going to come in here. We're we're going to shoot inside. We've we're going to shoot it from about about ten steps, five to ten steps, and he's going to aim right on. Let's see what happens. All right, little high, little left. I'll tell you, for the first shot of that bow, you're going to see basically all you need to do is just move it a little bit, but you'll see how close you can get just by eyeing it up. That's perfect. So what Brian's going to do right now is actually move the pin rather than the micro adjust because we got a little ways to go. Now, a lot of people get confused with this. You move the pin in the direction you're off. So since that shot was about six inches high, you're going to move that pin up. You're going to move it in the direction of where the arrow is off. And that's, uh, that should put us back uh, pretty close. Let's okay, see what happens. Let's try it. There we go. <laughs> Second shot. And, I mean, obviously, once we back up the 20, we're going to need to do some adjustments. But I'll tell you what. Second shot. You're ready to go. I mean, that is a great way to start. Well, I'll tell you, you know, that's a perfect example of just real simplistic. As I said, there's going to be more technical ways, maybe more exact ways and all that. But two shots, we're ready to back up to 20 yards. We're also ready, once we get it dialed in, to paper tune it. I'm not going to go through that now, but ultimately you're going to need to paper tune your bow to get it shooting right, especially if you're going to be using fixed blade broadheads. But... With the Apex Gear by True Glow, the Limb Saver stuff, the Quality Archery Designs Ultra Rest, and this Hoyt Maxis, Brian is ready for this season. Uh, we're going to get out, shoot a little more, and see if we can uh, get ready for, I think, in about another week or so. So, good luck to you. Hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully it'll get you ready to, for the field next time you need to set up your bow. And hunt hard and hunt safe. Brian, let's hit it, man.